Alright guys, today's a very special kind of day. Very special. If you follow me on Facebook, you already know what's going on. Da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Going to a Jets game! First Jets game ever that I've ever been to. Going with my buddy James. And yeah. Got us some tickets off to Kijiji there. Some website. Uh, it's a Canadian sort of like Craigslist, but uh, a little more filters. And yeah, so we got us some seats in the upper bowl. And we are headed into the MTS Center right now to watch them take on Jerry's Ottawa Senators. We're actually going there to watch them pummel Jerry's Ottawa Senators. Let's see what happens. Better not disappoint me, Jets. This is the first preseason game of the of the year. So it's not, uh, it was a little cheaper because it's not an actual regular season game, right? But it is the first game, which means everybody is gonna be there and pumped to watch the Jets take the ice. And I'm pumped. Me and James are gonna go there and we're gonna raise some you know what. And we're gonna have some fun. Yeah, we'll see what the, what the day brings. Pumped. Good game. My buddy James and Solani. You pumped? Oh yeah. I love it here. Apparently we're on the very top level. So we've been searched that we have no weapons on us. It's almost faster to go. Okay, we're going this way. Following Mr. Solani. This is I, wish my, I, I wish I had his money. Yeah. This is my buddy James, by the way. You guys probably hey, have guys. never met him yet. Well, they see my bike. Yeah, he's the guy with the Jixer, the GSX 1000. You guys saw it on my Facebook. I'm pretty sure you guys have it's crazy in here. Oh, there it is. Hi. Oh dear. We're 11, 14 and 15. Apparently we're going right to the top. Where's rule 11? <laughs> Okay. There we go. Not too bad, eh? We're pretty much right at the back. I never knew this place was actually this big. I've never been up to this level before. You've been to two games before, right? Two. Where were you sitting for those games? Uh, my first game, I was the last row in the lower bowl before the box seats. Okay. So uh, it was nice because we could stand up and nobody was behind us. Oh, nice. And then my, my second last game, I was in the far corner. Almost identical to this, but opposing sides. Oh, okay. Right on. And we just gotta wait for the anthems. Oh, and Jerry's Ottawa Senators take the ice. They got booed, Jerry. <laughs> it's Jerry's team, the other blogger. <laughs> oh, where's the Jets?
Everybody remove your hats. in here. How's the game so far? It's awesome. Yeah. We're losing. You guys are missing out. Yeah. We're losing, but we won that fight, Jerry. We won that fight. And we got our 50-50 here. What did they say the 50-50 was at? $24,000. $24,000. We both got 10 tickets. And if either of us win, that's like, like 12 grand each. 12 grand each. So you guys are going to be taking a good holiday if we win. Wish I'll us luck. give me all my high performance parts for my Dixer 1000. Yeah, I will be buying a new a new bike. All right, it's our turn here. Two five nine two oh. seven one zero five. We lost there we go. Right there. So the 50 50 just got five, drawn, nine, and we're not even close. Two five nine is the first couple of numbers, or was that this? Either way, we didn't win the 50 50. Timeout Winnipeg. We're losing 3 to 1 to the Ottawa Senators. So, Jerry, you might have us, but we won that fight. We won that fight. We won that fight, but we lost the 50 50. We lost the 50 50. Both of us. See? We both 3 4 9. $27,000. We actually didn't lose $27,000. We only lost 20 bucks each. Yeah, 40 bucks. 40 bucks. 40 bucks is worth it. But we could have had $27,000. Worth it. What would you do with $27,000? Leave that below in the comments. Oh, the game's almost over. Well, it was awesome, but we lost. 3 to 1. 3 to 1. Now everyone's leaving disappointed. Well, Jerry, you have this on me. Next time, next time we'll get you. But we won that fight. We won that fight. Well, James, it's the walk of shame. It's the walk of shame. It's the walk of shame. Actually, we can go out, right? 
right here. We could probably go out this way. There's lots of exits. We just want to get out of here as quickly as possible. We suck. Because we suck, no, apparently. We, we rock. <laughs> just today, it was just warming up first game of the season. I already love it, man. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Last day. That guy had a comb in his beard. I was going to tell him, last time I came here, I was the only guy with a cowboy hat. I looked uh -oh. everywhere, I didn't see him anymore. I thought you were talking about the comb in his beard. No. He had a freaking comb in his oh, beard. the cowboy hat, the redneck. I got my cowboy boots on, man. Oh, you got your cowboy boots on. Yeah. Don't leave home without them. I did leave home without my cowboy hat. That's the point. Yeah, where'd you get? Well, you got a Duck Dynasty Chevy hat on, sort of. I got to support the Chevy. Sure. Do you watch Duck Dynasty? Yes, of course. Of course, everyone watches Duck Dynasty. Love Cy. Cy. <laughs> hey. Everything's hey. Yeah. <laughs> I know a lot of Canadians that uh, are just like them, just different accents. They don't have the southern. Different accents, yeah. They don't have the southern draw. Yeah. A lot of fun, a lot of fun watching that. I'll be in Missouri next month. You're yeah. going to Missouri? And you're going all over the place. Going to Missouri, you're going to Russia. Russia's next year. Russia, he's going to Russia next year. He knows some Russian. I do. He knows some Russian, don't you? Yeah. I have some Russian followers. Do you? I do. Yeah, yeah. yeah one of them stole my video. Oh. Yeah, there's a big event. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't know. So we're trying to get out of this mess here right now. Not sure exactly where we're going. <laughs> but there's Jets jerseys everywhere, so we feel at home. Okay, here's the exit. Uh, Josh, if you want to say goodbye to the MTS Center. Okay. okay. How do we say goodbye? Das Vidanya. Das Vidanya, MTS Center. Das Vidanya. Das Vidanya. Nice to I've heard that somewhere. Terry. It's goodbye. Yeah, I mean, not just goodbye, it's actually hope to see you again. Okay. Hope to see you again, MTS Center. Hope to see you again. So now I feel like I'm trilingual. Trilingual? Trilingual. Well, actually, I only know one language, but I like to think I know everything. <laughs> I do know everything. Between me and James right here, we know everything. Yeah, I'm only, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now where are we going? Down this way, down that way. All right, here we go. I have no idea where we're going. No idea. Apparently we're just follow the crowd. We're going through City Place here. This is the mall. Where do we park? We parked at the Pony Corral, right? Yeah. Pony Corral. That's where we're heading. That's where we're headed, apparently. I trust you. I don't know. We'll make it. We'll make it. All right. I got to race like a piss. You got to race like a piss. <laughs> this is going the wrong way. This is an, an up escalator and we're going down. Going down the up escalator. Oh God. Sorry. Sorry. Going down the up escalator. Oh God. <laughs> That's right. Always going against the grain. Always going against Always the grain. Always going against the grain. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's cops out. Let's go uh, this way. Actually, we go one block Why is there cops over there? Directing. Directing traffic. Better not be towing my car away. <laughs> Are you surprised at how fast they made it down those there steps? That was pretty good, man. For cowboy boots? <laughs> cowboy boots? Yeah. Going down the up escalator. Oh, yeah. It's always an adventure with Trucker Josh. It's always an adventure with Trucker Josh. Flashy lights, flashy lights. That's right. Honk. Where are oh there's the Winnipeg Convention Center? There's the Delta where we graduated. There's the Delta. We graduated there? Did we? I don't even know where I graduated. I grad hey, I went to high school with this guy by the way. You guys probably don't know James that well. I how long have we known each other? Uh ten years. Ten years. I think I was sixteen when we met. Or sixteen. You were 50. That's crazy. So now you guys know James. One of my you don't best remember friends. Grad being at the Delta? I don't remember Grad being at the Delta. Oh, That's way too long ago, man. We're old. I'm older than you. Yeah, I'm That's old. a whole extra year. You're really old. I know, I'm an old fart. I don't know what's going on here. I still ride bulls with the best of them. You still ride bulls with the best of them. No, I suck at riding bulls. <laughs> 
But you got the cowboy boots, so you're good to go. Well, and I try riding. I yeah. Yeah. Because we walk right through traffic. It's traffic stops for us. It's Winnipeg. Nobody cares. Right downtown. I don't know why they built the MTS Center downtown. Oh, uh, whatever. Even the arena, like the, the football stadium, kind of a stupid location. Check out the stack. He's got this huge stack. Look at that. Freaking six inch stack. I don't know. I don't know if I like that on a truck. Well, not single. It's got to be dual. It's got to be dual. Yeah, I don't know. Nah, I'm still not a fan. Yeah. I'm not a fan of that Subaru though. That is a nice Subaru. Very nice. Very nice. nice Mustang right there too. No, that sucks. Really? That's a 5.0. That's very nice. That thing's gay. I don't know. I saw a 69 SS Camaro with hideaway headlights with a 502 in it today. Yeah? That's the sexy car. Yeah. Well, hey, here's the Pony Corral. This is where we're going for our, uh, what, what would you call it? after party wings? Yeah, we used to come here almost every weekend. We used to come here a lot. I used to live just down that way behind those neon lights. You probably can't see them yeah, in the video, the but there. we lived right around here. Me and James used to live in the same building downtown here. Yeah, half a block from Central Park. Yeah, and we used to, yeah, exactly, right in the core. We're at uh, 22 gunshots in a year and a half. 22 gunshots in a year and a half. Did you hear that? So this is one of our old high hangout spots. Pony Corral downtown. All right, and the game is done. We lost. We lost. But the good news is it was just a preseason game. Just an exhibition. So, Jerry, don't dance for too long. Don't do too big of a victory dance there because we're just letting you guys feel good for the preseason when, you know, it doesn't matter. You wait till the regular season starts and we're going to come to your home ice and dance circles around you. So, ha! <laughs> you guys are probably wondering, who is this Jerry guy he keeps mentioning? He keeps mentioning this Jerry guy. You guys don't know Jerry? Really? No, most of you do, I know. He's Jerry Ott. He is a daily vlogger, just like me. Or maybe I'm just like him. You know, I've never really stopped to think about which way that goes. Anyways, he does the same thing I do pretty much. He's a truck driver and he vlogs his life daily on YouTube here for you to see. If you want to check out his channel, it's easy to find. Big Rig Talk. Simple to find. Uh, you guys probably all know him already. There's a link to his site on my main page there in the top right there in suggested channels. Him there. Anyways, that's the reason I keep talking about him in this Jets vlog, which has nothing to do with trucking or his channel or my channel, is because he's from Ottawa. And we played the Ottawa Senators today, so it just made sense to uh, include him in that because he is a pretty big fan of theirs. And he's doing a little dance right now because he's so happy that he won us, but little does he know we got something up our sleeve. It was just an exhibition game. Didn't mean nothing. Anyways, guys, I had a lot of fun tonight. I went out uh, to the game with my friend James who I've known since well, almost junior high for like 10 years like we said in the vlog and it was a lot of fun we had a blast we ended up going to Pony Corral after and we stayed out till I got home at like 2 33 o'clock in the morning it was awesome I'm finishing this vlog the next night so I'm still in my Jets jersey oh yeah you don't take it off it's Jets pride anyways Guys, thanks for watching this vlog. Thanks for sitting out through this whole vlog. I know it's close to like 20 minutes already. And uh, yeah, I'm a daily vlogger of uh, my life as a trucker. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like button. And don't forget about the all-important share button. Share my videos with your friends and spread the word about me. All right. And hey, on a side note right at the end here, if any of you are in the Winnipeg area here, and you have Jets tickets and you want to share them with me, I'm totally game for that. And hey, if you have Jets tickets you want to take me along, I will buy you Timmy's before the game and buy you dinner afterwards if you would take me to a game with you. I really like going to games. Hey guys, I will talk to you later. Thanks for sitting through this whole thing. Have a good one. I'll see you in my next vlog.